Good Friday morning, church <laughs> yeah. family. Pastor's cooling off. And I hope you got your winter coat. I'll you got to you. have it this weekend. It's going to be cold. It's, cold. Yeah, right? it it's that time of the year, by the way, as it well. Is, it, it is. It is. It is. Let's talk about the week ahead. Yeah. Uh, Sunday morning, 9 a.m. is our connect hour. Uh, we stress it all the time. We want. Yeah. We would love for you to get connected to a small group Bible study, you and your family, yeah. all ages, from preschool all the way to an adult. Yeah, let uh, me give you a little testimony there just about connect groups. Angie and I had a young lady contact us last weekend about mm. coming to a connect group. She didn't know where to go. We agreed to meet her in the steeple entrance, took her to a connect group on Sunday morning, and she said she had a wonderful time in that connect group. They loved her well. That's great. And then the invitation during the worship service last weekend, she came forward and joined she our did. church. So, yeah. folks, those relationships matter. Build relationships, get connected to a connect group. It'll Amen. change your life. That's right. So get connected this week. Yeah. After that, immediately following that is our 1030 a.m. worship service. Uh, we're still in our series, A Runaway right. Prophet. This is it, though. Uh, Jonah <laughs> chapter 4. This week we're talking about sinners in the hands of a loving God. Mm. Uh, you've heard the sermon maybe in years past, sinners in the hands of an angry God, mm -hmm. but in Jonah 4, we see the love of God on display. Amen. Isn't it good news on this Friday morning that we can say how much he loves us? Oh, man. John three sixteen, God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son for us. That's amazing. So we'll be able to do that. Thank you for your faithfulness in giving, tithes and offerings week in and week out. Uh, invite somebody to join you this week in person. We'd love to see them, and it yes. could be the invitation that would change their lives as mm -hmm. well. Also online, you're going to be able to see the message from Jonah 3, an opportunity to do life differently. God is a God of a second chance. The word of the Lord came to Jonah the second time. Amen. And that he'll do the same thing in our lives. And so I hope you'll watch that service, invite other people to watch it with you, mm -hmm. share it with other folks. Mm -hmm. And again, the Lord is using the worship experiences here at First Baptist Church literally around the world. Amen. John Mark, coming up Sunday as well. Uh, we're, we're getting the gospel to all nations. We exist to worship God, love people, share Jesus, make disciples. Yeah. But as we do that, Operation Christmas Child, it, the timeline is here. This is it. The yeah. plane is landing there as it's well. Landing. You have it to have is. that box in this week. Yeah. Uh, so make sure you get all that thing, get that thing tidied up, get it back to church this Sunday, uh, and we'll get those gifts and the gospel around the around world. The world. And church, so thank you for giving. That's something related to Christmas, mm. but Thanksgiving is not far away. And coming up on Wednesday night is our Thanksgiving worship service at 6 o'clock. It's not in yes. the Grace Worship Center this time. It'll be in the Fellowship Hall. Yeah. We'll do worship over there. Bible study will be over there. So everything will be over there on Wednesday night. So we want to see you there. Yeah, so remember that. Also, just a little information coming up about Wednesday nights. On November the 23rd, there are no activities mm. here that Wednesday night. There's no meal. There are no activities of any age group. So we want you to spend time with your family. Amen. Many of you are traveling, have family coming in. Mm -hmm. And then, by the way, too, the church offices will be closed on Thanksgiving Day and the Friday after Thanksgiving yes. Day. I imagine some of our folks are going to help the economy out that day as oh, well. Yeah. So, yeah. But just know that. We'll talk about that again next week. But it's yeah. coming up, and we want you to have a wonderful Thanksgiving uh, with your family. Also coming up, Constitution and bylaws. Those mm -hmm. are important for our church. They are important for our church, and we're going to make those uh, available for discussion on November the yep. 30th. Yep. You should have uh, received an email by now, or correct. you can get a hard copy here in the we church office We have that here well. on hand in yep. the church office, and then we will open that up for a vote on December the right. 7th. Seven. Yep. Yep. Just remember that. So November 30th is the night of discussion. You can ask questions. We'll be able to engage you on those. And then on Wednesday night, December the 7th, we will vote on those as a church body. Mm -hmm. Also that night of December the 7th, we're going to have a budget discussion as yeah. well because the budget will be voted on the 2023 budget on December the 11th. But December the 7th, then we'll discuss that. So those yeah. are important matters coming up for they our are. church we want you to know about, and we want you to be here and participate with us. Well, John Mark, on this Friday, we get to worship with one of my favorite hymns. Oh, yes. I was at a house having lunch with someone the other day, Angie and I were, and they asked, what is your favorite hymn in the Christian faith? And I said, holy, holy, holy. holy. holy they holy. went to the piano and started playing it, but we're going to get to worship with Amen. it on this it's Friday It's Friday morning. morning right now. We're going to sing it now. Let's turn our hearts and minds to Jesus and worship the Father, the King of kings, and the Lord Amen. of the lords, Amen. and we will see Amen. you all this next Sunday. Oh. Uh -huh.
风。